Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Memorize here back at it again, continuing our reactions to the final chapters of Fairy Tale, episode 15. And actually we have no time to waste because the Alvarez Kingdom is right in front of our doorstep about to attack. So without any further ado, let's just get right into this episode. One and play. All right, the battles of the Elvis army has finally begun. Shit, we got the Elvis army just attacking from all the sides. Yeah, the magic barrier from got him, and we got Arizar with her heaven wheel. Ajil, a member of the Twelve, leads the attack. All right, Moon Flash. Come on, you can't mock her. Then we got this fish-looking dude. <laughs> He's leading the ground team. So everybody's gonna split up. That's why we got the land landscape. <laughs> The land map at the beginning of the episode because I knew everybody's gonna split apart to take on their separate groups and fight the battle somewhere else. Damn! But then they tried fighting on the ship. Ah! Uh. <laughs> that did not went so smoothly when they tried actually fighting on the ship. Three of the twelve. No, they're slowly adding up all of them. The fairy tactic is at the end of her wits. Look at that face. Like, she has no idea what to do right now. And Brandish just sitting in the bathtub. <laughs> but what does she want from Lucy, though? And we're getting into this opening from Fairy Tale, the new opening. Oh my god. Woo! Do it for real. Alright, and we're back into this episode. Let's go, let's get this. All right, the separate battles have begun. The Western Hill. Natsu is fighting this opponent. What is his name though? I totally forgot, like. Bakel, all right, Captain Bakel. <laughs> the only thing special about him is brute force, all right, let's go. He wants a scarf? Nah, you're not gonna get Igneo scarf, dude. Nah, this is... That's an item long over your level, dude. You have to take him down here now and fast. What? Just go all out with one attack. But that's true, he actually thought this through like he cannot waste all of his power at the first opponents there are oh damn Carla is going in on the martial combat all right damn Gajel just going through Ooh, now he's getting an enemy Ooh, what is that looks like I'm a Tarasa exploding bombs like Landmines? Kareem. Alright. Morning Star. Let's see. 
Now we're getting the battle with Juvian Gray. The streets on the western of Magnolia. Now this is just going to be the setup probably for the next couple of episodes. Like who's going to fight who. And then maybe probably going to, maybe it's going to come up with a strat at the end. Elfman is coming in for support. Oh. Oh my god, Mira Jane, the devil. Shit. Oh, you guys are done. Wait, what? She took over? What? Are you for real? She took over Shayla's curse power? Oh my god! Let's go! No, she really gonna kick some ass. That's not an S-class -class, S magic her... Ma what? I cannot talk today. Like... Everything is happening so fast. That's an S-class mad magician for you. Oh my god, I can, I can still not say it. It's like a tongue breaker for me. S-class magician. There you go. <laughs> a smackdown? <laughs> That's just cannon fodder though. You have to take rid of this guy. Now we're getting back to Erza. The sky above Magnolia. Shit. She's caught up in the sandstorm. Come on, you fought tougher before this, dude. Oh, this is not the Guildmaster. Yep, she needs some backup. Warren, keep up. Don't break down, dude. Oh, he kicking him in the nuts, bro. Shit, you need to focus or everybody's going to die, bro. Got to fight. There's more than this on stake than just the kill, dude. Oh, damn. He's sticking up. Oh, he's sticking up the broom up his ass. Damn. Five minutes. Save our guild. But why are they putting everything into the Jupiter? She she knows the Jupiter is not enough. She needs a plan. And back at Lucy's house in the bathtub, are you gonna get into the bathtub too? For real, why are you here? Just wanted to take a bath. Of course. The thickness should get in with the thickness. Let's go. We need more like this. Let's go. Let's get in it. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> you don't need to be scared. What the hell? Why is he there? Oh, she's just putting him in, in a bottle. <laughs> Get into the bath. <laughs> Can sink, uh, shrink everything, not sink, shrink. Not really. Damn. Mm.
What was that? What did she do? The whole house? The building next door? It just shrunk. It didn't disappear or didn't got destroyed. So it's not actually that bad. Like, it's just like, honey, I accidentally shrunk the kids type of deal. So there's a way to put it back. But she's undressing. Let's go. Oh. All right. Woo. Damn. She's getting into the tub. Oh, this is from the opening, right? When she just stares at her like, oh, bitch, what are you doing here? <laughs> nah, dude. You know, oh, he wants to see the sickness, though. She's cuter than you, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's cute as fuck. <laughs> Maybe the magazines. Damn, what is she about? <laughs> She just wants to know from she won what? Can you take that off? We're having a serious discussion here. Oh, they're doing this on purpose with those angles. How am I supposed to read the subtitles with the thickness just being right there? <laughs> he wants to get out of there so bad. No, this is not her. No, this is not your chance. Oh, no. Not with the broken key. Not with the careers. Oh. She knows. Oh, what the fuck? Can she actually just shrink the house without the stuff being inside of it? Oh, that means she could be crushed. That's why it's so fucking overpowered. Holy shit, she can actually separate the stuff from what's actually inside and outside of the things? Like, she can actually change that what's at will? I thought, like, she can shrink that... If she shrinks the house, everything automatically inside of the house would have get shrunken too. But she can actually change or, like tell what she actually wants to shrunk with that precise of ability so she could oh that's actually overpowered as fuck so er, all the people are in, trapped inside of the houses when she just shrinks down the entire city the entire city would just be dead holy shit i just i just thought of that how overpowered her power could actually be i was just thinking like honey your kids got shrunken accidentally type of shit but oh damn <laughs> Yeah, you had to take him down because he was actually like the magic blocker, right? Like he jacked all the magic. Mm. <laughs> Damn, step on his head. Oh, now she can requip. Oh, let's go. This is the moment. She noticed my requips works again. Oh, no, you're fucked, dude. When God armor. Oh, let's go. Whoop his ass. Damn. <laughs> Fairytale title cards. The Western Hill. All right. They taken down all their enemies. They took this dude laying on the ground. The other dude laying on the ground. They eating some dirt. So really, when is Happy actually gonna learn to fight? Like when he when is he gonna get actually his transformation? Is he gonna get a transformation? Don't tell me in the comments. Don't tell me. This is just just asking. Like don't tell me. Oh, he's still not down yet. Ooh.
Did he lose his arm? Oh, he pissed. Are you sure about that? Ooh, he just elbowed him in right in the gut. No, ooh, no, that left hook right into the solar plexus. Sent him flying. Let's go. Yeah, you better pretend you're beaten, dude. Or else you're gonna get whacked, too. I've received it. Natsu, that was the signal. Erza is gonna finish this dude off now, too. Your fighting spirit, let's go. He's still standing though. Erza, you better finish the job. Don't let this dude escape. Now's your turn. You got him on the surprise. Oh, those are water swords. Water cuts through fucking sand. Yes, let's go. This reminds me such of like Luffy against Crocodile. The very first battle where he figures out like with water you can punch him. Let's go. Sweat, a lowly soldier? You don't know who Erza Scarlet is, dude. Oh, now the attack doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> You're done for. <laughs> How about a sandstorm then? Oh, oh. The entire city? What? What kind of large-scale attack is this? Damn! He put the whole city in the sandstorm? The whole battlefield? He has some impressive range. Damn, even the guild hall. Even inside? It's going through the walls? Shut! Oh, but even the others are infected too. The Ulver's Kingdom is infected. Well, they're getting affected too. <laughs> but what about what about uh, Juvia though? She's made out of water, isn't she? She's having a hard time in this sad storm. Yeah, what is it like outside, dude? He's already at his limit. Yeah, ooh. This car can't fight. She's basically immobilized. She can't fire the Jupiter. You have to take him out now. His sand world, alright? I am God. Ooh, shit! He can use the sand basically to teleport everywhere he wants, like use the sand to his advantage and just use the speed? Holy shit! And he can make after images and stuff like that. Oh my god! Nope. Shit! He got you off guard. Damn! Nah! She dropped her weapons. Just put him in the arm lock right now. Like every time I think a character gets stuck, just put him in the arm lock right there. And break his arm. The source of what? It's life itself. Water? What? So he is actually like a top, uh, like, crocodile. What? Oh, he actually sucking out the water out of her. Holy shit. Oh my god. So this is crocodile. Just that he not a Logia user. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, Morning Star armor. Let's go. Oh, Sand Axe. What kind of armor is this? Oh, that's not what she knows. Oh, that's how she knows where to fire. There's us light. Woof, the Jupiter coming in clutch. Woo! Directed! Let's go! Shit! Nice! Great shot! Let's go! They turn and the tables around! Is she going into a cheetah form? Oh, the Sea Empress? Starlight! Damn! That's a clean looking ass samurai outfit. Like, I first thought it was a Sea Empress, but no, it isn't. Shit, she completely took him out. The sandstorm is gone. Let's go. She took the first one out. Let's go. Or basically the third one. Right? Oh, and this is already the end of the episode. Oh my god. It was just getting hyped. No.